What is up, everybody? It's the Fast, and this is um, RPG Maker Fest. Let's make a game. Let's get into this. We were at eight hours exactly on this, so wow. In 16 episodes. This is episode 16, of course. What we're going to work on today is a little bit of just tweaking the monsters and everything, trying to get this demo up and running. Um, before we get started, though, someone has asked me the other day about variables in the game. How do they work? How do you use them? And unfortunately, I have no idea how to, how to apply them right, how to do them right. The only time I've actually seen the variables used is for like the door system and che treasure chest and stuff like that. I honestly don't know how to use the variables myself. I haven't seen, I haven't thought about looking them up, them up or anything, but hopefully I can look up and get some ideas on how to get them to work and can get them to work so I can let you guys know in a later video, but for now, let's start working on some monsters. So right now, as you saw in the last episode, when we got to level 4, we were able to take on this little will-o'-wisp right here, but the sh the skeletons, which we have named as strong skeletons, we could not. We have HP of 70, NP of 10, attack of 20, physical defense of 44, we'll put that down to 30. We'll put that down to 34, see if that helps any. Mag um, magic Defense Intelligence, we'll put that down to 30. Yeah, we'll do 30. Speed of 25, an experience of 35, and 100 gold. What does it do? It has normal attack and critical. You know what? We're going to put that down to 50. Because we're going to take this and we're going to add... We're going to add a 3 at 10%. Just for the heck of it. Uh... Is there an evade on here that you can do? Gonna take heal, self destruct, sleep, protect. Um. Now we're gonna actually give him special skills and stuff, but once we're gonna give special skills too, we'll have them for them only. He'll have a name for them only. But, uh, let's do an attack of. of Fuse. No, not a skeleton. Uh, double attack. We'll do double attack at 10%, which leaves us. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's do that at 20%. That gives us an. That gives us. Yeah. So 10% chance to flee, 20% chance to double attack, 20% critical, and 20%, 50% normal attack. That works. And hold on. Yeah, I can't deal with death. We're going to put. We're going to put. Uh, Spirit Orb, um, Herb. I believe that's good for that. Give us a little bit there, the groups, the encounter chips, and the place encounters. Let's, let's, like, work on some defensive items, too. Maybe, no, not defensive items. Let's look on weapons. Weapons. Because we want to have ourselves a nice little weapon. So the Iron Bow does 35. No, actually, I know what we do need to do. We do need to get Ricochet being able to be added to the team. So, let's go to events again. Let's go to our little town, which is right here. Sorry if I'm trying to figure out things to do here. I'm doing it on the fly. Let's come down to Ricochet here, who's just sitting here doing absolutely nothing right now. Uh, actually, first off, make sure to turn off walk in place. I don't understand the whole walk in place thing. I think it looks silly as can be. We don't... We just want him there, like, chilling and everything, like... Hey, look at me, I got this nice little hat and everything. Come in here, add a message. Actually, we're gonna, of course, no. That's right, because we are gonna have boy or girl, we are going to come out here first and foremost. Gotta remember to do this every time, this is gonna be the one thing about this. Whoops. This is the one thing that's gonna be tedious about this, is the fact that we're gonna have to do this for everything. Delete that page and then copy. I can't copy that page. I can't copy the first page. That's interesting. Yeah, just drop that down there. Okay, because there wasn't an extra page. And I have to do this, and then we're going to come over here. Come here and we'll put uh, here is presence. And of course we'll put test. And 
you go to this one, here it is present. Test. Now. I want to see something. This is something I'm going to definitely have to check out. So I'm definitely going to have to make sure we go and pick our character and come out here and check this. But I want to see if this can be done. Message. Put a message here. Just put a message here. Come down here and grab Mr. Arrow guy over here. We're just going to put a simple message, ask a simple question. I don't think it should matter if he, he's going to ask this question. Hopefully, hopefully this works right. Sort of a if characters here. Are you lost? And then of course we'll come down here and do the whole. I don't know how well this works, but we'll see if this does anything. If not, we'll just put him over here. Okay, so we're going to go here and grab him. Grab. I believe we did this guy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Is this place? I don't know how well this works, but we'll see. Now what we're going to do is make sure this actually works. I don't know if this works this way or if not, but let's see if this works. If it does, then that's awesome, but let's test play this. I believe we're still... Okay, yes, we are. I, I didn't know if I had us still there, so... so we'll pick the boy, see if this actually works. Yes. We'll just, we'll just pause. We'll just um, skip every fight. I know how to do that. Hold on. Not that. We're going to demon menu and we're going to turn off encounters. Which means we should be able to get through here and up to the skeleton without any encounters. Yes. Just doing some, just testing something here. And we'll skip through this because we're not needing to worry about that. He dies, voila. I want to test to see if this works, and I don't want to have the girl with me, because then after we try this with the boy, if the, if with the test character, if this works, then we're going to bring Julian in and see if he can still ask that question. If not, we'll just do it the other way, the way we've been doing it. This is just a trial and error test right here. Okay, okay, that didn't work at all. First off, I know what I didn't do and I need to do. So that doesn't work. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know is if that actually works. So, apparently, no. So we'll just delete that and we'll actually insert it into the boy character one. <sighs> Fix direction. Oh, come on, stop doing that. There we go. So, apparently that doesn't work. Okay. Just need to make sure. We're actually going to add a emotion expression before we do the messaging. Hero, and we're going to go... I don't want that on here, I want that on him, actually. 
Okay, this event. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll just put that question back. Hey, don't know if you don't try. That's all I gotta say. You don't know if you don't try. If I would have just sat there and kept doing it this way, if it would, if that other way would have worked, that would have been great because it would have been made it, made it a little bit easier. So I wouldn't have to keep putting in the beginning. Well, yeah, the beginning dialogue to him. So we're going to put in here. Uh, you. Moss. And we're going to put another message here for him that will have the the overworld name or the um world's name in it, but for now we'll just put since we don't have that name yet. This well actually we'll probably have just the town name. Yeah, and this is what the town name would be. Is blank 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 blank. For now, we'll have something added there later. Those dots will be replaced with something else. No. Then we'll add the question. And of course, we'll come here and do what you need now. Of course, is the yes no the yes no function, which is here in this branch controls. You want the yes, and under yes, uh, you want. I think it's down here. Substitute member. Add ricochet. Confirm. If no. From the message. Of course, you want to grab the Rickish, the uh, nice little arrow guy. The no, that's not what I want. The you you around then. Now, of course, we gotta test this out to make sure I have this done right. Let's see. So now, I'm gonna test play with the boy again, of course. I like that little, I like that little background there, the little sword with the um, goddess stuff. That's not final though, but right now it works. Of course, we'll test with the boy, and if it works, if Ricochet comes with us. Of course, we need to debug. We'll just turn those off for now. And of course, by the time we get to this, like, if you pick up Ricochet, which most people probably will, he'll have, you'll, you'll have him on your side to be able to help you with the castle. Which then in turn is going to be a lot of fun to do that. And let me know what you guys think so far in the comment section below as we build this game. And any ideas of names? Ricochet, of course, is the name we are going to use for our for our Archer guy right there with us. He will have ourselves. Let's go over here and try this. What the? Why is that not working? Huh. We got a problem. Hmm. 
Why can't I talk to him? What is going on here? Investigate. That's weird. Investigate. Investigate. Gonna be a past judgment. What am I missing here? Hmm. Huh. So that's a problem. Done one of these before. Yeah, I don't know what these do actually. These I don't know anything about or any of that. That's weird. Alright, let's put something on the girl one for a minute. Where Julia should be at. Might be because he's there twice, so let's that might that might be what it is, so hold on, let's go back out and try that again. Because it was probably because I had it set to I had him set twice, so it was probably just messing it up. So let's see what happens now. And should we have music playing in this area while we check to see if we want to be a boy or a girl? Party, yes. That actually, no. Actually, I shouldn't do nothing. Yeah, we're going to see this the whole time. I don't want it to, like... Because after we, after we put the, um, the reason I want to keep picking the boy or the girl is because after we do the girl one, I don't want to continue to have, I don't want to have both of them there when I test to see what this guy says or that guy says. So this is going to be a lot of, like, trial and error and probably have to take one out of the party, like, actually, while we do this, because that's just going to take a while. And switch it back and forth between the two. Because I could just, like, sat there right now if I didn't have Julia part of the party. On the outside, I could just sit there in front of him and try this over and over. I'm going to do that. There it is. Okay, see, that needs to change. How do we do that? Um, okay, okay, so we got Ricochet showing up, I just gotta get the other one to disappear. So I'm pretty sure, um, uh, see, yeah, I'm probably, I, I have no idea how to do that part. Let me try and turn this, let me, let me do this. Let me add a switch. Yeah, let me add a switch. That would be number seven. Yeah, there's over 400 switches, man. All right, yeah, there's over 400 switches. If you run out of switches while you're making a game, I don't know what you're doing then. I'm going to come back out here. I'm pretty sure I need to add a page for the switch thing here. We want to turn past judgment on. Off. Yeah, you want to turn past judgment off with that because so we, you know, should we be able to do this way right and be able to like not have to keep going back and forth? We are gonna to have to go out to the database because it just takes too long to do it the other way. We'll go party and we'll take we'll remove Julia from the party. And we'll just use him for now and then we'll be able to do this. No. So I can just continue to do it from there because Going back and forth is just taking way too much time and it's taking too long. So we're going to go right here. Not that crap. Right. And of course, when we go to start this demo and everyone, people are actually going to play it. There will be boy and girl and all that stuff. But hopefully we got this done right. Pretty sure you need the switch to be able to... Like, he needs to disappear. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to change that. Okay, yes, he's gone. Yay. 
Now there's a way to put him back to, but that's fine, see. Now we have a level 5 and a level 1, and that's about the right level you want him to be, too. So yes, he is about the right level we want him to be, simply because we were level 4 when we got to the castle, and he's now level 5. Okay, now we gotta put Julia, and we're gonna go to the other one. And we're just gonna edit. We're gonna copy the page over, but we'll change her dialogue. We'll change a couple things. We can first off gonna make this Jola, Julia. And we'll come here and we'll change all that stuff too. We'll change the dialogue and all that good stuff. That's Alright. We're gonna change his dialogue with her a little bit too. Yeah, we can always do that too, where it's not just the main characters that we change the dialogue, but we can change everyone else's dialogue too, so it matches together. Or that, so it's different experiences all the time, instead of just him saying, see you out soon for both. Some cheesy dialogue, I know. Um. Okay, and confirm. Done. Okay, going back around. Da, 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 da. We have the switch already set. Sweet. Yes. So make sure to always have your switches if you want the, uh, it to change. Now I know there's a way to like get them to disappear and then you could put them back. Like I've done, I've seen it done, but we're not going to be doing that because why would you? Why would you want to put them back if because it's not going to be one of those ones? So we'll put her in. Confirm. I'll come back out here. And, us? yes, where am I? This is, the, the, need any help? Yes. And there you go, now you have Ricochet and Julia. And all that good stuff. Now see, the whole thing is, if you want to come in here, uh, see, I, I gotta figure that out, why, how to do that, because I want to be able to have, like, if you don't go and get him right away, you'll come in here, and you'll have that dialogue, but if you go over here and you grab him immediately right now, you go over here and you were to fight this ghost, he has no dialogue simply because... And there's got to be a way to do that, because what if someone comes here, doesn't even realize that this guy's somebody who can help you, goes up here, talks to the ghost that's going to be in here, that's going to give you dialogue, and then he's going to come out here, leave, and then go to this castle. Which we still need to add music to all this. I like first strike chances, they do like, they are awesome. Boom. The more balancing needs to be done because that goblin got wiped out in one hit. But yes, there we go. We have ourselves. A companion now so it won't just be you as the boy or the girl make sure to put her back make sure to put it back how it should be before we leave this day
Doesn't matter which way. Really doesn't matter which way you put them in because when you pick boy or girl, it's still gonna they're still gonna show up as boy as the boy or the girl. But it doesn't matter. But it looks like we're out of time today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I want to thank everybody who has been watching and the new subscribers I've had. It is awesome. I want to just continue to see this grow and hopefully we can have ourselves a demo for this game very, very, very soon. We're only 8 hours into this. I'm 10 hours on this video, on this one right here, and nowhere even close to how we are on this one. There's not that much into this one as there is this one. But thank you guys, and hopefully. I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and join me on Twitch as I play the Elder Scrolls Spot Skyrim and play Sh and I Shiny Hunt here and there on Twitch as well at the front. Oh wait, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.